So we had the ID Tech X show, and hi, so who are you? Hello, I'm Gregory Beeson. I'm the principal designer at Lumia Technologies uh, in New York City. Um, and we make a drapeable circuitry layer that can be have different components embedded. Is this flexible? It is, You yes. can show? Yeah, absolutely. So, as you can see, a couple of unlimited bend radius uh, applications, including automotive, um, wearables, workwear, apparel, things of this nature. So, soft goods, electronics with soft goods. So, um, it's uh, electronics with the... Is it for something like smart closing or? Exactly, yeah. So specifically, we're in e-textiles, a soft circuit layer. So you um, can embed it in. We've had applications in menswear jackets, um, shoes, workwear, uh, automotive, and even furniture. So you have it in there? I don't have it in here, no. no? You could, right? <laughs> I could, yes. How yeah. long would it take you to integrate it in something like this? And you need a purpose? Um, yeah, well, we've actually already worked with one brand to integrate uh, the layer into their custom jacket. So we've made our own jacket as well. Um, so that's already in production. So. The one I saw in this video right here looked really good, but what was it about? Was it like, it looked like heating or is it light? Yeah, or? heating, yeah. So sorry, that application is heating. So um, that's a heating application for that, a heated men's jacket, and we make a heated women's jacket as well. So to do heating is just like a short circuit, or how does it work? Oh, well, um, some of that technology is patented, um, but essentially uh, we're running this soft circuit layer. You can see actually here, this is actually a heating layer here, which you probably It's can. hot? Yeah, you can feel it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Very hot. Yeah. Um, and so this is this is the layer that would heat, similar to the light as well. You can nearly so. use it for cooking. <laughs> yeah, How this, hot does it get? This one gets uh, well. It depends. We can we can range it about uh, 150 to 160 degrees Fahrenheit, um, which is in centigrade something. Yeah. I'll check Google later. Yeah, I should uh, get that yeah. Google no translation. Problem. Yeah. So this is just to show it coming through a layer here, so a fabric layer, how it can translate through it. So uh, heating is one market, it, but doesn't heating use a lot of power? It does, yeah. So heating, um, maybe you've seen other jackets on the market. Um, their life for going outdoors isn't as much. You'll see a lot of outdoors kind of categories. We're thinking more in a category where, uh, you know, in the office or at uh, a quick jaunt around the city, that's where a lot of our heating ones. So you need like a, a larger battery. The lighting, of course, a, a smaller battery, a lot easier to, to get power to that. So there's lighting? Mm -hmm. There's a uh, heating. Yes. Uh, what's going on here? Is this touch? Touch sensing. Yeah. So captive touch uh, to change the Whoa. functionality. And that's also using your technology, basically the same. Exactly. Yeah. So essentially, all here you can see it's just carrying the the, the power to these different components. So is it blinking because it's like a prototype, or? Uh, it's we we made it with that functionality just to show the change. Ah. So so you know the. You have different modes. One is yeah. a blinking mode. Yeah, one's off, fully on, blinking, blinking. and uh, more like slow. Nice, we'll so it's not buggy actually. No, no, it's actually the way it was designed, yeah. And uh, so I've seen some uh, smart closing technologies, like uh, uh, some demos before. How is yours different? What's, do you have something like really yeah. special? Yeah, ours is different um, just because of the soft circuit uh, uh, layer. It's because it's so bendable and, and sewable as well and bondable. So it can kind of be integrated to any soft grid. As well, um, um, How, it, where is it? How does it work in there? Uh, you can you can kind of see it here. That well, how it's carrying the power here. But yeah, that's the idea is that it's almost like seamless, right? Um, I can't see it. My camera is not good at focusing <laughs> on it. It's like too that's too like, invisible, kind yeah, of. Yeah, that's kind of the idea, right? So yeah, I guess the idea is here that the seamless kind of. Invisible. I see some kind of big stripe here and here. Is that what it is? Uh, exactly. Yeah. So it needs to be big. Um, not always. Depends on the application. Yeah. And uh, uh, here you said L E L. What yeah. So we call all of our electronic layers the Lumia electronic layer. So the L E L for short. And um, are you like a startup or what's the status? Um, we're kind of beyond startup. We're um, We've gone through all the startup uh, things as well, but we're starting to partner with different companies to bring products to market. So what we do is provide our LEL for, and customize it for a company to let them integrate it into their product. So be it like a luxury handbag or a workwear uh, garment. You have a customer? Um, we're many like customers? Developing 
a few at the same time from a range of um, range of different industries. So. And uh, uh, where are you based? And uh, how, how big is the team? Yeah, we're based in New York City. Um, the core team is three of us, and then we have a whole network of uh, collaborators and contractors that we work with like, very closely. So. And uh, you've been at it for a while now, or? Yeah, this company's been uh, going for about five years now. So. And uh, this is definitely going to be huge, right? But the question is, are you going to be able to make it huge, or is like Huawei or somebody, or? Right. Do you mean huge in? Uh, like everybody's going to have smart closing. It. Yeah, yeah. In like five years or what? Right. Yeah. So the big part of this is like you know it's such a new industry. It's uh, figuring out scalability. And so what we've done a lot is work with different manufacturers to be able to make that happen. Um, which we, we partnered with a group called Eastprint in, in uh, the United States to, to produce our layers. And we also have uh, very tight relationships with our manufacturers of our materiality as well. So we're starting to get that, our whole, uh, or I should say we already have it, our whole supply chain in order. So if there is a P purchase order of you know, thousands and thousands of units, we can actually fulfill it now. So you said that there's a partner called Printed something? Uh, Eastprint. 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 So yes. this is all printed electronics, or what? Um, well, they they do a lot of printed electronics. Yes, um, with us they do our specific layer. So this this I don't think would be termed printed electronics. No. This so what is it? What is uh, it? Soft circuit e textile. E textile. Yeah. Market. So it is like a machine that kind of makes it. Yeah, it's a different processes. Yeah, um, there's a few different ways. We're always evolving our processes. And. Um, uh, you you said you're the designer, right? Yes, yeah. So does that mean you design like the end idea or? So so like our team has you know a product officer and an engineer, researcher, and then designer. So designer thinking of I a lot of times will be in conversation with a company or a client to talk about how we're gonna make this and what it needs to look like, what the user interface could be like, what the user experience is like. So my end becomes designed like that, or even what the custom componentry could look like. How could this cable be redesigned? How could this housing be redesigned? Um, even just like, we can even des design uh, new batteries as well for clients as well. Have you worked with the companies that do flexible batteries or is that not urgent? We, uh, we did some early prototyping with because we were doing some footwear heating, um, so we did have some flexible batteries. But you know, some of these things we wait for uh, clients to want scopes of them, and then we go deep into it. We've done a lot of uh, early investigations, but to like go very deep into the process. So, for example, this one, this is a power bank here. Exactly. Yeah. And then, does do you have electronics here, or? Uh, so there is, yeah, there is a um, a board in here. Um, different ones do different things. I have another one. Here, which is actually a layer that is in this video. So this is like this in here is a custom housing we created. Um, what is this connector there? Pogo pins? Exactly. Yeah. So same thing that these are as well. So you get oh, the, just magnetic. Exactly, and it's uh, polarized, so you can't do it uh, backwards, which is great. And then there's a custom PCB board in there uh, for this custom piece, which this is this is for. Uh, a jacket heating. So this is a custom design, sewable tabs for a client. And I just brought this as an example. What's the price of your, of your solution? It really depends on scale. Um, it depends on scale, size, like, you know, as you get into to bigger, bigger pieces, you know, obviously it's going to go up. So it really depends. Yeah. 